Hello everyone! This is Loopy Liss and welcome back to Planet Zoo, where we are in franchise mode and we've got a little bit of a snow issue in our entire zoo because apparently it snows in September because that's a thing. But hey, you know, I have already put down some heaters you might be able to see. Still, animals are not happy at the moment. It's still starting to warm up a bit. Or as you can see, the snow has kind of dis disappeared in most areas. But we're slowly, we're slowly making our way in, working it out. It's still a little bit, a little bit too cold in areas. So maybe if I move this over here, maybe that will be a better decision and hopefully that will increase. I do believe it stopped snowing, has it? It is now raining. Huh. Okay, so everything should begin to get better. I don't think water treatment 2 has failed. How is there not a mechanic over here yet? How is there no mechanic here yet? What is going on? Oh gosh. Where is my mechanic for this zone then? Let's move that. Go into work zones. We've got a couple of things that we need to sort out today. Wow. Um, so that's the other side. We have a mechanic here. What are you doing? Resting at the staff room. Great. Amazing. Well, maybe you can get to work now. Maybe. Maybe that would be great. Maybe I should get two more mechanics. Maybe I should. Maybe maybe that would be ideal. Or at least one for this. Yeah, he's going straight away. He knows what needs to happen. So yeah, that's a thing. Wait, did I ever make a work zone over here? Did I ever do that? I don't think I did. Hold on, let's just see. That is not even in a work zone, oh wow. Okay, whoops. Let's do that straight away. And put all of this good stuff in there. Hopefully that should be fine. Do we have staff that aren't currently in? We do. You need to go into the Indian Rhinos then, and so do you and you. Well, I think that's fine. So it stopped snowing at least, so that's fun. They're getting a lot of business over this side, there's a lot of people coming in. And I forgot to put bins down, by the way, because so there's so much trash everywhere, it's unreal. So we need to sort that out straight away. So maybe put one here and one here. And then a bit more along here, maybe. Maybe one there. Because people will walk around. Look at all the litter. What are my caretakers doing? I'm assuming I need more caretakers. We'll put one there. And maybe one on the bridge. Because I'm assuming there's going to be rubbish on the bridge at some point. So, if I, I'm sure I got bins down this side. Yes. Do I? I'm assuming I do. Somewhere. Uh, let's put a bin here. Best had. Yeah, there's a bin here. So, you know, this is happening. Water treatment inaccessible. Ignoring the heck out of that because it's stupid. Because it is accessible. Okay, we have the classic theme. Amazing. But actually, I want you to go on the food shops now. So go to food shops. Thank you. Thank you very much. I need to get brighter. It's a bit too dingy right now. Oh, that's still an error. Hello, welcome. Oh, wow. It is so dark. Let's just bring light in here. And it's also stopped raining. There we go. Beautiful. High amounts of litter. Yes, there is an atrocious amount of litter. So we're going to take care of that by placing more caretakers everywhere. I think that's just the main part, actually. I think we're fine down this end. I think it's just that stretch. So I don't think we actually need any more. Are you guys happy with your visit to the zoo? You're hungry and thirsty. Well, that's not my problem. There was food places everywhere. Granted, I think they're a bit packed. Oh wow, oh my gosh, that's terrible. That is bad. Oh wow, um... 
Oh god, that's so many people! So many people trying to get in and out of here. Ah, right, well... And this side's okay. I mean, it could be better. But it's, you know, it's a thing. I mean, we got it. And people are using both toilets, by the way. Whoops, there's a thing here that needs to be redone. Redone. That's the wrong one. There we go. Put that this side. And I'm assuming this side also needs the same. Yes. And then we actually probably need, if I go on to new world stuff. Nope, not brand theme. New world. New world. There we go. And then we need to do an arch just in here as well, which I think, yeah. Why are you throwing litter there? That's stupid. Why are you doing that for? Yeah, okay. Well, I think this is looking okay. This is looking okay. Obviously needs more detail and all that good stuff. And we probably will add more shops around this area too. But for now, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm thinking we have this group here that has the ability to have another habitat attached somewhere around here. But I kind of want to branch more this side. So you also have this area here. So I'm thinking to have the walk-in lima habitat go up here and then you find it up this side. So let's stretch this path out a bit more until about there then we go back to the rustic path and kind of make it bigger and then it goes no wait 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 it's fine could i make it just go actually no that will work i think if i go like this and then and then the other side as well if i can and then it'll go like this. Maybe the walk-in... Actually, if I do that a bit further... Maybe... Maybe, just maybe... Just have it kind of like that. It's a different shape. The walk-in lima thing could be right here. That's a bit of a sharp edge though, isn't it? Maybe if I just... Nah, that's wonky. Wait a sec. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's make that a bit more rounded. That's... Mm, that, that'll, that'll do. It's a bit wonky still. But it'll work. Just put that a bit longer. Why is there no window there? Goodness, I am so bad. Not supplying a back window wall. How silly. Anyway, I think the walk-in lima habitat that I wanted to do can go right here and the path can attach right here. And I think that'll be great. I think that'll do just fine. Why is- there's no even- Right. You know how I'm getting that complaint that there's no, like, path or, like, it's inaccessible on the other side? This has no issue and the path isn't even connected. Come on, Planet Zoo. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? There we go. It's better. But yeah, that. Why is up with that? I don't get that. That's that's silly. That is very silly. But anyway, we can branch this way. We can branch this way, and this could probably go all the way around. We could make this like a um, center. Like this whole area could be food area. Is that gonna be too close to that staff room now, though? Good question. Very good question. No, it's not. It's just out of the way. Beautiful. I love it. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to start on the walk-in lima habitat. We're going to do that. And I think I am just going to... Hmm. Actually, can I have... Do I have the... How do you get the top thing on? Curved barrier top. I think... Oh, wait. Oh, that's what that means. Oh! Interesting. 
I didn't know you could do that. That is cool. Oh wow, okay. Amazing. Climb proof. Oh, that's what I need. So climb proof, just say both. And we'll work along this. We'll work along with just like a normal barrier. Okay, so. And then angle snap. And we're gonna go up here. That's gonna connect to that. I don't really want that. This is gonna be a small habitat, actually. I think I wanna go a bit longer than that. And actually, we could have it connect onto this. So, mm, maybe if I made that just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Or a bit shorter. A bit shorter. And then that a bit longer. We could do it a bit like that. And then it connects to that. And I think we don't need that on both sides. What side do we need that on him? What side do we need the the climb proof on? So it'll be left is the other side. So we need right. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then with this, we're gonna go like so. Is there any point having that attached? Probably not. But wait, if I extend this just a little bit, then we could have it go a bit more in like that. We can't go any further than that. I mean, we don't need to do it like that, but we will do it like that because I just, I think I like that. And then this'll go across like this. This is gonna be way too big now. This is gonna be huge. This is gonna be way too big. For like lemurs. Unless I have like a lot of lemurs. Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is gonna be like huge. Why is that bent? Ah! Okay, I'm probably gonna shorten this. I'm gonna probably shorten it on the other side. This is gonna be way too big. It's gonna be way too big. Maybe the entrance could be here. Probably like that. The entrance could probably be like that. What's wrong? What's wrong with you guys? Stressed again. Great. You're always stressed. I need to really sort that habitat out. Anyway, yeah, this is way too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead. Is this all on the right side now? Oh, that hasn't even got... Oh, okay. Wait. I got it. There we go. And... So I'm going to shorten this side because obviously that's going to be way too big. What's wrong now? Oh god, I'm going to ignore you guys just a sec. I've been ignoring the tapirs for so long though, it's so bad of me. Right, this is going to... Right, wait. Just Let me just delete that entire barrier. Keep going along like that. Delete it. And start it. End it there. Go across like... Nope, nope, not like that. We don't want a weird angle. Ah. There we go. Delete and delete. Whoops. Delete this. And edit this. And carry this on. That's not even got the barrier thing again. Oh gosh. Okay. So a nice little walk-in habitat. This is what this is going to be. I don't know if we'll be able to complete it um, on this one, on this episode, but we are making a start on it and I think that's all that currently matters. <laughs> as long as we make a start on it, we could totally make it amazing. So I think that is good right there. So obviously I forgot to attach all of that onto a right-sided. Oh, why is that? I thought the right side was the b the right side. Oh, okay, I guess it's left. Is it left? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, try that again. And there we go. Okay, so they won't be able to climb out. 
And I'm almost tempted to make these higher, actually. I'm so picky, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm so, so picky. So very picky. Let's make these a bit higher. There we go. And then we need a path. And we want to go with... Hmm. A natural path, maybe. Curb markers. Yes. I think... Whoa, that's not right. Okay, wait. I think we'll have this just go, like, in a circle. Kind of like that. I mean, it's a bit off-center, but... Hmm. Nope. Wait. Let's think. Let's think. Maybe if we just have it as one big open space. Rather than they walk around, they come in. But then again, that kind of defeats the point, doesn't it? So we will have it... Like I said. Wait. Let's do this. On this side. Wait, almost. That'll do. That will do. And so they can walk around and then we can have like a shelter area somewhere around this side. Probably this side actually because then just for lemurs to get away because obviously they don't want to be surrounded by people continuously. So we will do that. And... Yes, we need a door for our staff, of course. So we'll have the wooden habitat gate here. And then just make sure that we can get to it like so. What? Oh, come on, don't do this to me. There we go, okay. That's a different colour. No, I don't want it to be a different colour. I just want to change the colour. I just want to change the colour. There we go. Wait, what colour is it? Oh, it's the... That is the right colour. It just didn't look... It doesn't look like the same colour. It's not, is it? Huh? What colour? It's the green one then. Oh, okay. It's the green. Okay. There we go. Alright, that's fine. That is fine by me. Anyway. On to the lemurs. Actually, I haven't got any lemurs in my storage, so I'll have to do that at some point. So I'm thinking the ring-tailed lemurs for now, but we could also add in the red ruffed ones. So... Hmm. Tropical. We can do that. Tropical African. Let's do this. Let us do this. Right. So, we all know I love a good tamarind tree, so we will have a big old tamarind tree right in the center here that they can climb up. And then the guests will have an amazing view of that. That's not centered. Bit more this way, bit more that way. Bit more this way, bit more that way. That'll be fine. So a big old tamarind tree there, and then a smaller tamarind tree here, maybe there, no, maybe here, and then a bigger one just kind of going off on the entrance a little bit, just maybe this side. We could have other ones along here then. Or we could have something else. We could have a climbing frame on this side. Or at least here. Because a shelter could go here where they can get away. Okay, great. Okay, and we'll add like more detailing later. Let's see if we can get some ring-tailed lemurs. So, have I got enough storage space? I have. I have enough storage space. So, ring-tailed lemurs. How expensive do you re reckon these are going to be? Oh gosh. Uh oh, there is no female ones available. 
That is a bit awkward. Tell you what, we'll get a male ready. But I don't think there's actually any females. There's no females available. Oh no. What about Red Ruft? Yes, we have some females. Okay. You are beautiful. We'll go with Red Ruft then. We'll go with Red Ruft for now. Because clearly... Well, I guess we could, if we can, then it might be good to get a... Oh, you're lovely. I'll take you instead, actually, for the ring-tailed side of things. And then for the red ruffed side of things, I think it's gonna be you, buddy boy. Not even checking the ages on these, actually. Come on, female ring-tailed. Female ring-tailed. We'll have two of each. Yes, look at this. Okay, so. Wait, this is red ruffed. What am I doing? No. Okay, come on. Give me, give me, give me a... Give me a female ringtail lemur. No. I haven't got any, have I? At all. Do I? Do I have any? I can't remember. No. But anyway, I think I'm going to trade this guy because I'm not going to be using him. So I'll keep this guy. And I think it's just going to be red rough for now then. Just for now. Yep, it's going to be red roughed. Okay, so let's add this to the work zone. Not new. I don't want a new one. We can edit this one. Might need to add another keeper in here. Pygmy hippos and... And can I not use an ampersand? Okay, I can't. Is that what it's called? I don't know. And... What are they called? Red roughed. And lemurs. I'll just go lemurs because it's going to be two different types of lemurs eventually. Hopefully. Maybe. Or maybe I should just concentrate on one type. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Edit this work zone. Make sure... Oh, that's not in the work zone. No wonder no one's looking after it. Oh, God. I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. So that's fixed. Oh, that was silly. Whoops. And then we just need people to bring in our we'll do the red rough for now bring you in and bring you in welcome majoro and tanya come in and we'll sort out the terrain when you're in as well come on someone grab them there we go Amazing. Fighting for alpha status. Pygmies. Oh gosh, you're right here. Where are you? The baby grow up. The baby grow up. Yes, but still tiny. <laughs> I'll take you into the trade center. What about you? You still a juvenile. I don't want them to fight, so. Okay, so. What's the issue? Terrain and hard shelter. Okay, well obviously I can work on the terrain straight up. So, I think probably heavy soil going as like a path maybe maybe go like so just so that is marking where the path is just very like minimalistically and yeah that's going out like that that's great and that is actually all the soil we need. <laughs> but I will add a little bit more. That's some more light soil around this part. Going along here. Just kind of extending off that path. And then we need some more short grass to get rid of that long grass a little bit. I prefer the short grass and stuff like this, really. And I think that's fine. They actually have enough climbing and stuff, really. They just needed that. What can they climb? What can they actually climb? They can climb that, and they can climb that. And they can also climb that, which is great. So actually, I will not work on the climbing frame for now. Uh, I will make sure that we have some kind of platform thing that they can sleep on, though. So let's go into habitat and go into enrichment items. 
and we'll go put in climb and what we're going to do is we're going to have a hired sleeping platform just here it would be helpful if it wasn't so dark now but what are you going to do let's put that up against there just about is that up against it no it looks like it is but it's the shadow there we go and the same this side and move that across like so that's probably going to be more than enough actually and then we'll have this be like so is that in line just about and then the same here and then we will have we will turn this maybe get a thinner one is that at an angle looks like it's at an angle straight out. and bring this over here and down like so just so it's definitely supported it looks like it's supported bring that up and up a bit more and yep and then we're gonna have this bad boy go into here i don't even know if they're shy animals i'm not actually sure if they're shy whoops i didn't want to turn it like that no that's fine i want to turn it like that and then i want to lift it up like that and bada bing bada boom and then they have hard shelter that they can get up to, amazingly. Can they escape though? No, but they can get on top of it, so that'll be quite interesting for people to see them right on top of there. They can't jump down though, so that's really nice. I could, I will probably block this up as well, actually. So let's do that. So they have more privacy. I'm sure I can use here a cockerel or something, but I'm pretty sure we do not have cockerels in this game. So not sure what that is about. <laughs> Probably a farm nearby the zoo. Okay. And then like that. And then a shorter one. Like that. And then just to... Well, they could go under there really as well, couldn't they? If they wanted to. Kind of like bunk beds for lemurs, actually. <laughs> oh, I could leave that open. I was going to block it up. If I block it up, what does that do? Does that decrease it? No, it doesn't. I think I will leave it open, though. I think I will leave it open. And actually, I might just put another one of these in as well like that and then they can go under or they can go up that's pretty good hey there's people already in here hello hello kenneth and kian and esperanza and julie julie butts nice to meet you julie butts okay so still haven't got any enrichment but you guys are happy when it comes to climbing and stuff so we've got things starting pretty well at the moment. We just need to spruce things up a little bit, make things look nicer, and obviously get a female ring-tailed lemur in here. <laughs> Maybe a couple more female red ruffed as well. So we'll just use this. They haven't got any enrichment. Oh, I got climb set, whoops. So food enrichment, it's a forage one right here. So we can put that just maybe here he's probably gonna get boxed and then toys we've got a mirror maybe we can put that over here gives them some incentive to go onto that side and maybe a box can be right here and when it comes to food and water we can just put i'm just gonna put that down just like by here for now and then a water pipe can go not there apparently not there either why can't i put it there we'll put it up against a rock probably just 
I'll probably put some rock work in and I'll make it by there. So I'll put some rocks behind there. But ultimately, we have a walk-in habitat. So obviously I need sprucing up. But it's not looking too bad. The reason I go over here to another duplicate, um, to duplicate a donation box is because I can't be able to paint it again. I know that sounds stupid, but it's how it is. <laughs> so I think we'll have, we'll have, um, we'll have the donation boxes outside because people will be able to find them. But how are these guys feeling about... They should get another red rough lima so that one has company. We have two, don't we? Oh, right, so they need more than two. Of course they do. Have we got any female ringtails left? Yet, rather. No, we still don't. Wow, this this sucks. Um, What about another red rift? Just to finish this off. Wow, they are getting... E oh! Hello! Okay take you two. Amazing. So we have an actual female ringtail. As soon as I get another one I will put the ringtails in as well. Or should I put them in now? Should I just put them in? I could just put them in. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want to see them all together. I want to see them all together. Okay, bring in the lemurs. Bring them in, it's getting lighter. We'll be able to see them properly. Oh, he likes the box. <laughs> and his head's gone through the fence. <laughs> okay, here they come. Amazing. Oh my gosh, they're so much smaller than the red rough ones. It might just be the aspect of the fur though. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, see, they're not happy with the social aspects. How about you? Are you happy? Yes, free is a good population. People are happy with uh, what they're seeing here, which is quite nice. How do you feel? Oh, they didn't go in there. Okay. Oh. It's pretty good. Oh, look. He's going in. Oh no, he's just climbing on top. Still, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I need to put beds in, and then I think that's this video for now. Oh, he's going in. Lovely. Okay, beds. So, that's way too big. Oh, whoa, okay, bye. Oh, this has got a gap. Whoops. That's fine, I'll sort that out. Make sure all of this is bedded up. Put a bit bigger bedding down here. Just make it all nice and patched up. And there we go, they should use that. Low welfare? Why? Social. Right, yeah. I figured that this was going to be an issue. But that's why I've got that, so they can kind of hide away if they want to. So, yeah, this is going to get a lot of people in here at the moment because they knew. Where are you going? I don't know where they're going. <laughs> but ultimately, I think, I think we've done a good job here. Hello, buddy. How are you going up? There you go. Hello. Ooh, did a little show for you. <laughs> right, I think this is going to be this video for now. But we've got the very happy beginnings of a very successful and stress-inducing habitat for our uh, lemurs. But... We will fix that gradually, and of course we need to up the prices again. So I'll bring these up like so, and that should be fine. And we will see what we get up to in the next one. We'll probably clean this up, make it look a little bit better. Oh gosh, hello. I love it when they jump like that. But yeah, we'll add more building stuff, we'll add more climbing stuff for them, and we'll make this the best that it can be. But for now... I shall leave this here, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share this video, I'd really appreciate that too. And I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye.